opening class 10th so here is today we are on our second lecture uh, that is from the chapter how do organisms reproduce in our last lecture we started with the uh, two things that is uh, we discussed in detail about dna copying mechanism as well as we started with the variations concept also that there if there is a few changes which are made during the time of dna copy which is your replication process then these few few uh, small small changes that leads to a term which is known as variations right so today now we will see that what is the importance of these variations in an species in a particular species or in the case of the individuals right so the importance of variation if we say um for that a uh, one word today i will discuss with you that is niche population of organisms you know that many organisms when they together start living together then um, they are group that form a kind of different kinds of groups of a particular species when they live uh, live in a ecosystem that produce the population so population of organisms they fill well defined places which are or these well defined places they are niches suppose i say that there is a kind of tiger species particular species that live in a particular habitat and even in that habitat they live in a particular area so that area that place is a niche for that tiger where he can reproduce right where he can use its best power to reproduce so same way different population of organisms they fill well defined places or niches using their ability to reproduce so niche is a kind of place in a it is a area which in at which a particular uh, in uh, organism that survive that reproduce that give rise to other organisms right so where where that for what does it depend so here this uh, that uniformity the ability to reproduce uh, using the area it depends on the consistency or uniformity of dna copying as well as maintenance of body designs right so key, uh, when they reproduce they maintain their dna copying method continuously with uh, proper uniformity dna get copied as well as with the copying of dna body designs are maintained so i want to say here that there are the organisms which live in a particular area or fill that particular area use their best ability they reproduce they uh, they maintain they maintain the dna copying method and this maintenance this uniformity consistency in the dna copying it help in maintenance of their body designs body design means like the same kind of body designs are coming to you from your parents same if a tiger will uh, go under reproduction it will pass those uh, D dna to to uh, his offsprings same way the process goes so reproduction is linked to the so here the two concepts we discussed yesterday the third concept is that reproduction is actually it is responsible it is important for the continuity of species as well as it is linked to the stability of populations of a species now exactly the same question comes in everybody's mind that what do you mean by stability of population see maintenance of body design feature how the body design features they are maintained when dna is passing from parents to offspring from generation to generation so that uh, where they are using uh, they are passing the characters they are living in a particular place right and that uh, at the at that particular place they are 
continuing with the reproduction so these designs and features allow the organism to use that particular niche or place which is the well defined place for the organism stability of uh, population of species means that maintain karna apna designs right uh, or human beings have their particular body designs dogs they have their particular body designs they have particular features characters now when they reproduce they reproduce in a particular niche they produce in a their particular well defined place and when they reproduce they produce more number of the organism so in this way they fill that place so when they fill that place it means now their population is stable it is now maintained aisa nahi hai ki reproduction nahi ho rahi hai number kam ho raha hai design features jo hai unka body design feature wo aage transfer nahi ho raha hai that leads to non stability but reproduction ki wajah se there comes to the stability of the population of different kinds of species niche which is a place for an organism it sometimes change due to the environmental factors as you know see environment plays a major role for a particular species how how niches may change if suppose i am talking about the bacteria as you know this is the structure of bacteria in ninth standard you have already done this so if there were a population of bacteria right there is a population of bacteria few bacteria they are living in the temperate water what is the uh, what is the temperate water temperate water means where the temperature is very moderate nor the neither it is very hot sorry so neither it is very hot or nor it is very cold it is moderate temperature so this population is living in a temperate water so that temperate is a niche for this for these bacteria that temperature temperate is the niche now somehow this temperature of water is starting increasing due to global warming now the day by day the when the temperature will increase these bacteria they would die most of these bacteria they would die but few variants variants those bacteria in which variations are there those bacteria in which variations are there they will be resistant to heat and they will survive in that hot temperature and they grow further see global warming is not a one day process ki aaj temperature wahan pe moderate hai aur kal suddenly increase ho jayega no it takes 30 years to rise in the temperature it means 30 years means tab tak kitni bacteria generations grow kar gayi hongi so that इट मीन्स ये जो वेरिएशन्स आई हैं बैक्टीरिया में दे आर आफ्टर सो मैनी जनरेशन इट कैन बी आफ्टर टेन जनरेशन टेन मतलब एक बैक्टीरिया रिप्रोड्यूस किया उसके बाद वो बैक्टीरिया भी रिप्रोड्यूस किया उसके बाद उस बैक्टीरिया ने भी रिप्रोड्यूस किया सो मोर एंड मोर जनरेशन जैसे जैसे पास होती गई दिस स्मॉल स्मॉल चेंजेस दे आर ऑब्जर्व इन फ्यू बैक्टीरिया एंड दीज चेंजेस दे हेल्प Uh, these changes were not observed in all bacteria few very few bacteria they were resistant to heat iska matlab unme kuch to change hua hai jiski wajah se they were able to survive and they were able to grow so surviving bacteria it means surviving bacteria me jo changes hain they are coming through the variations and it is not only one generation suppose one parent they will rise to offspring and this offspring will mature and give rise to more offsprings then it will also mature give rise to further generation so ye 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 many gen generations tak ye jab small small changes hote hain so finally these bacteria they were able to survive because of the resistant genes which resistant genes which will help them to survive them in the hot 
टेम्परेचर और ये धीरे धीरे आई हैं आई टोल्ड यू दैट ग्लोबल वार्मिंग इज़ नॉट अ वन डे प्रोसेस इट टेक्स लॉन्ग टाइम सो कितनी जनरेशन के बाद ये चेंजेस अल्टीमेटली बैक्टीरिया में ट्रांसफ़र हुए हैं विच इज़ हेल्पिंग दैम टू सर्वाइव सो कॉन्सेप्ट फोर विच इज़ द लास्ट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अवर टूडेज लेक्चर दैट वेरिएशन इज वेरी यूजफुल फॉर द सर्वाइवल ऑफ स्पीशीज ओवर टाइम सो वेरिएशन ड्यूरिंग द रिप्रोडक्शन सो दैट इज वाई वी आर चेंजिंग सी वी से दैट डी एन ए गेट कॉपी एंड दिस डी एन ए कॉपी इट इट समाइम there are few changes these changes they are transferred to the offspring when this will get mature it will also give rise to the another generation and there in another generation there will be more changes so these small small changes that leads to the evolution means small small changes ki wajah se they are able to survive in changing environment and this changing environment is called your evolution and changes are called your variation right so next generation jo ab aapke few bacterias aise hain jinke paas resistant genes hain heat resistant genes means they can survive the hot temperature ab ye bacteria jab aage रिप्रोड्यूस करेंगे तो जो न्यू बैक्टीरिया प्रोड्यूस होंगे दे विल ऑल्सो हैव नाउ इंक्रीज दे कैन ईजली कोप अप विद दे कैन ईजली सर्वाइव इन इंक्रीज टेम्परेचर बिकॉज अभी तो सिर्फ सारे के सारे बाकी सारे बैक्टीरिया आपके ख़त्म हो गए ओनली दो सर्वाइव जिनके पास हीट रेजिस्टेंट जीन्स थी नाउ दे विल रिप्रोड्यूस दे विल प्रोड्यूस मोर बैक्टीरिया विद द हीट रेजिस्टेंट जीन्स सो नाउ दे हैव अडेप्टेड दम सेल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द चेंज इन टेम्परेचर बिकॉज नाउ दे हैव इनहेरिटेड दे हैव इनहेरिटेड मीन्स नाउ दे हैव चेंज बॉडी डिजाइन ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ डी एन ए कॉपिंग विच कम्स इन दैम विच इज़ कमिंग इन दैम ओवर मैनी जनरेशन ऐसा नहीं कि एक जनरेशन से ही आ गया है सो दैट वॉज द क्वेश्चन विच आई गेव यू in my yesterday's lecture that variation is beneficial to species but not necessarily for the individual because change in environment condition it is a long term procedure which i gave you just example that global warming is not just a one day process it takes long years for the change in temperature to it change uh, for the changing in the temperature so variation is not compulsory that now the parents they have reproduced or bacteria have reproduced the new bacteria will have the changes no it is not sometime compulsory so variation is not compulsory for survival of an individual but definitely with many generations these changes are observed in the species which help them to the survive so to survive with change conditions an organism has to pass through many variations keep on uh, which or these variations they come over with the generations many generations 1 to 10 generations 20 generations that is at the species level as uh, if we can say that human beings which were initially the species uh, like we are homo sapiens so before that the species which were in existence they have little their capacity of brain was less as compared to the as compared to us we are having today so these small small changes they are observed over a period of time in the species level slowly and slowly day by day years by years generations by generations these changes they are transferred and th when they transfer they change the body design when the body design will be changed during the dna copying method what is dna copying that is your replication process so these changes are called variations which help the which help the individuals or i will say species to survive with the change in 
environment so here we are uh, completed with our first topic of our how do organism reproduce that is importance of variation so here is the question for you that what for from today's uh, lecture that is write the importance of variation in next lecture we are going to start with the asexual reproduction with the binary fission and budding method till then take care and have a good day